Hello my sisters, it's time to get big with a Big Demon Warlock. Essentially the game plan of this deck is we're going to go down a unexplored route of using the tourist package in order to double the death battle of Enhanced Dreadlord and Wretched Queen, while also using the new card Eternal Layover as a way to trigger the death rattles quickly and flood our board with a bunch of big top minions, hopefully preventing our opponents from hitting our face. It is also worth mentioning in these replays, I will be using Hearth in the main deck. However, he never gave me the reaction that I really wanted which was the Warlock Hand. So I ended up replacing him with ETC with Hearth, Rustrot, and Sargeras, which is probably better for the overall curve of the deck. All right, now for the willing guide. First thing to watch out for is early game minions, such as Miracle Salesman. This will also cycle through your deck. Demonic Studies is really good as a way to mana cheat your big minions out quicker. Speaking of mana cheat, Fellfire Bonfire is one of the most important early game removal tools to keep, especially if you see any of the big death rattle minions such as Nimzy or one of the other demons. Then you're going to look for any other removal tools such as Defile. Now with that all being said, let's look at some game. Okay, time for a game against Mage. Let's see what they have in store for us. It's probably going to be big spell Mage, and unless we high roll, we might not. Uh, actually, this deck doesn't have too bad of a matchup versus this. It just depends if we can get our big demons out quick enough. Turns out spamming out a bunch of bodies against a deck that relies heavily on like minions and don't have really easy ways to answer those big bodies does kind of counter the deck. At least right now. All right, that kind of means it is Big Spell Mage. Also worth mentioning, this game is going to be from the September season, just because I did start testing this deck a few days before I tested it on stream for the second time, at least this version of it. The initial version that I had in the initial theory graph did not turn out how I wanted. And <laughs> boy, that stream, anything that could go wrong went wrong. Also, we're running Rust Rot in this list right now because I was expecting to run into a lot more Weapon Rogue, but I ended up not doing it. So, you know, it is what it is. We'll probably change it out for a Royal Librarian just as a way to cycle through the deck. That's basically what we're trying to do. We could also use Speaker Stomper. I for completely forgot that card existed, which actually might be the better option. Hmm. Well, let's see. <laughs> Y'all will find out after I do if I ended up changing some cards out to make that work or not. Okay, there's Snake Oil. Soul Searching actually is pretty good. I'm expecting Mage not to have an answer to Dorian right away, so I'm just slamming him down right now. I know that could end up becoming a mistake, but I think this should be fine. Oh, please don't have three more damage. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to use this to draw, a, hopefully, a minion. I am so tempted to get the other soul searching, but Dark Marrow could actually come up here because we do have a lot of Death Rattle minions in hand that we can easily use. And we still have the coin. I just realized we still have the coin. Hmm. Let's see which minion that they want to get rid of first. Dorian is like a big threat, but also giving me Reborn on Death Rattles could also be really big. Oh, also worth mentioning, while I've been playtesting this deck, I did run against a Light Show Mage using the Tourist Package. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing a deck like that down below, because that seems like a real fun way to use some of the cards that everyone is using in mage but not use them in the way that everyone is using them plus using light show which tends to be a fan favorite i know a lot of people like that card i like that card a lot and perfect oh perfect look at this big board oh isn't it wonderful i am still sad that we never saw a king card printed for warlock though i will say that i would have almost wanted to bet you we were going to see a Prince Malkazar as like King Mal Game King Malkazar or something in the mini set. It's amazing that we didn't see it, but you know, it is what it is. I guess Nemzi is the equivalent of the king in this set, but whatever. Nemzi is such a fun card, by the way, too. I I've been looking for a way to use her 
literally since Wiz Bang came out. And I, I, I don't know. There was never anything really interesting with this deck that we could try. And I think this is like a very unexplored route of a uh, big demon warlock. I almost always want to say big demon demon hunter because I got that stuck in my head for some reason. All right, so it doesn't look like they have anything else. I'm curious. I mean, they could have Tsunami, but they might not just want to play it. All right, I guess we just go face. Why would we do anything? Oh, we're one off. We're, we're oh, come on game. Give me something good. Mm, bah. That is not what I needed. I guess the consistency of that has hit critical mass where it just, yeah, oh well. It is what it is. Okay, Surfrail Pod. Oh, Galactic Orb. Oh, that's kind of funny. Well, I think this is GG. <laughs> Turns out getting rid of the Dorian over the 1-4 was actually a huge mistake on their behalf. <laughs> okay, actually a good hand. I would have preferred a one cost card, but I'm going to keep everything here. <laughs> be at what three mana next turn oh I, I i mean we get rid of it next turn and then we get to slam this down on the falling turn so this is dungar druid i'd expect at least i don't actually know any other list that is running this i guess it's technically ramp druid but it's Dungar Druid. I, I, that's the easiest way to explain what it actually is. We could actually also just play down the Dreadlord next turn. But I do kind of just want to draw off of Nemzi. Oh, maybe... Maybe we... Can't. Hey! How are you doing tonight? I hope your stream was went well. We're back at it again with Big Demon Warlock. I keep... Almost saying big demon demon hunter, but that's good. I think everyone here has already heard of you, but I might as well do this. Oh, I did not realize there was a new Zelda. Don't keep up much with Zelda, to be fair. Okay, so. Get the big girl out. It is almost so tempting to just do this here. And hopefully they don't have a swipe. I do own a Switch. I got a Switch for a Christmas gift, like when Sword and Shield came out. <laughs> um, a Pokemon Sword and Shield, sorry. And then I was disappointed in that game and then I never touched it again. <laughs> um, it's been a while. I think it would also help if I actually had like a TV, but it, it's like blocked behind everything. If I had an easy way to play the Switch, I think it would be. Uh, because I don't like using it as just a handheld. I would prefer to use it as like an actual console. I don't know. So. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh... Next week, though, I actually am going to do something that isn't Hearthstone. Yeah, I did kind of too, but like, I don't know. Pokemon was the th thing that always got me to come back to like a Nintendo handheld. And I just after Sword and Shield, I just didn't buy whatever the hell the next games were. It was Scarlet and Violet, right? But yeah, next week I will actually be doing something that isn't Hearthstone, at least for one of the streams, which is Diablo 4. Diablo 4's expansion launches next week, I think. Uh, so we'll be doing that instead. That should be fun. I also just realized I played into um, mind control tech. And knowing my luck, they will mind control this or this. I don't know which one they'll do, but... Also, I really don't remember if this was the correct one or if this was the correct one. I think it was this one. I could be wrong. 
But yeah, we're finally, finally getting to use Nemzi, which is something that I've been trying to use since Whizbangs because I got this signature, I think, in my pre-order bonus. And then I was like, this is such a cool looking card. I Shame I have no use for it, you know? But, yeah. Oh. I guess we can just get some more big demons. But yeah, the, the replay that we're really, really searching for here is Hearth into the Warlock Hand. If we can draw into Hearth into the Warlock Hand and then revive everything. Mage is still real. People are still playing a lot of it. We've Most of the games tonight have been against Mage. Uh, I actually have a very, very spicy... Well... The last uh, upload that I did on my YouTube channel, which was the... Oh, perfect, actually. What was it? The, the last upload was... Res Priest. Res Priest with the tourist package is actually really, really, really good against Big Spell Mage. Cash Cow is just incredible in that deck. Like, it, it was just so good. I'm going to get yogged here myself, probably, I'd assume, but you never know. I think it's a lot more winnable against uh, Big Spell Mage now than it used to be. Which is nice, I guess. The more I see Deadline, the more I hate the card. Okay, let's do this. There has to be something left in their deck that they're just like holding on to the oh there oh and dungar okay did we hit anything else big and good Get nemzy back don't think this does anything for us but we never know the weirdest thing is like that last balancing patch i'm still amazed that they what cards they decided to buff up, right? It's very strange to me that they decided to hit Turbulence, but... But yeah, weirdly, Res Priest with Dungar felt really good against Big Spell Mage. If I didn't need this for the content tomorrow, I would probably be playing that deck to Ladder Climb right now, because I do think it is decent against Big Spell Mage. The downside, though, is I do think it also is kind of bad against any reno deck for better or worse we'll do this shuffle more cards into our deck draw a minion can we i was really hoping that was going to be hearth but it is what it is is there a way for us to oh yeah there is to file any problem I almost want to do this, but putting more taunts down will be better. But yeah, we really, really want to see Hearth. That's... Oh. I'm assuming you're still this. Take these. I should have actually just used the attack other minions just to do it. Oh, B12. Fun. All right. Hit. Yeah, let's go. Wait, that was my Yogg. They still have a... Okay, well, we have to kill that Yogg, I guess. All right, game. I don't ask for much, but I would love to see Hearth right now. None of that is Hearth, but hang on. This does technically work because I don't really care about my hand. There, well, that could be good, but I don't think it needed. Yeah, praise be the monkey for once. You know what? We can. There's actually multiple ways we can get lethal off of this monkey too. Like, actually, <laughs> hang on. How much damage do we have on board? We have six plus. Yeah, I still haven't done anything with Whizbang. I was in um, Texas for a convention when Whizbangs came out. And because of that, I never, like, got to it. Uh, because I was originally me- Oh! 
we lose the game if I do that. I really want to do that, but like, we lose the game if I do. That, that is such a shame. Oh, the memes have to be memes. I, <sighs> that wasn't a bad game though. Okay, temporary game against Hunter. You know, Hunter, there is a deck in Hunter that I really, really want to try out that I keep forgetting about, which is Spell Hunter using Jungle Jammer. Oh, Nemzi in the opener actually in this matchup might be a little bit sus just because of the fact that it is going to be a quicker matchup and she doesn't have taunt. I will say this, the thing that would instantly, instantly fix Nemzi, in my opinion, would be give her taunt. Why doesn't she have taunt? I know they probably don't care enough to give her taunt. Probably actually at the end of season or end of rotation when she's about to rotate out, I would almost want to bet you they'll add taunt to her. I, it just seems like an easy buff that they could... Oh, there's a reason why I hate Deadline. I, I had two copies of it in the deck, and then I realized I always was accidentally destroying one. But I like the cycle effect, which is why we ended up adding Rust Rot. Then I didn't run into any <laughs> Weapon Rogue, which is kind of funny, but it is what it is. I wonder, this looks very much like Funky Monkey's like, workhorse list. I'm very curious if it is his list or not. All right, let's slam this down, shuffle this into the deck. Actually, I say that, but I don't... I, I remember seeing him post something on Twitter about it. And I don't remember what was in the list. Okay, maybe it is in his list. Because they're running the bait thing that I can't remember his name. Everything else looks similar to his, though so far oh it could be highlander that's possible okay rc rampage good thing we have that domino effect right i really really would have preferred to put nemzi down this turn but let's get rid of the board i'm almost tempted to use soul searching but i am just going to trade this oh maybe we don't want that right now i, I don't think that's something we want okay remote control they're actually attacking into that. I'm assuming they're hoping that they can put enough damage on board where they can destroy it. I, I don't know. It, oh, this is... I really, 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 really want the Hearth replay with the Warlock Hand. If you all play this deck, let me know if you end up with that hand. Because, boy, I've wanted to have that so bad but i uh, we're about 35 games in right now and i need to get this out tomorrow so you know we we'll see we'll we'll see okay we can go and do some soul searching we also don't really need the reborn on nemzi she's actually legitimately like the worst card to get the reborn on but, you know, it can come up. In theory, it could come up on some other stuff. They might still be, like, some variant of that list. It's a neat idea, right? It's very interesting to me to see, like, the world or Yeah, the Warlock. The Hunter cards that... Everyone expected to do nothing actually end up becoming like meta warping and like, okay, to be fair, cash cow is good in every class that isn't hunt or better in every class that isn't hunter that has access to hunter. That is kind of sad to say, but it is what it is, right? But it's cool to see like some of these cards that people are like, oh, yeah, I don't understand why you would ever want to run them. And then now people are like, you know what? Actually, not that bad. It turns out you just need a very, very, like, you need to have a meta where you need to be quicker than a deck that relies on big spells, and then some of these token cards get played, you know? I still do want to do, like, a spell token or a spell something 
Hunter list. We'll we'll get there when we get there, right? I think this is GG though. Oh, I I could really have risked it there with the hearth, but I think I think we we're just yeah we're just yeah unless we could get something funny off this top deck like six additional day. I mean that that's kind of funny. It would have been funnier if one of those was Leroy, but I guess this is just GG. I'm sorry, Mr. Hunter or Miss Hunter. I <laughs> BM'd you. All right, now that we're through the games, let's discuss my final thoughts of the deck. So I played 41 games with the deck and ended up with a 41% win rate, which is a little bit lower than I had originally expected, but it does make a lot of sense. The tourist package actually does help with the deck a lot because it does add a lot of cards that fix the weakness of the more stereotypical big demon lists where you have a lot of early game minions however that still isn't enough to keep up with some of the more meta defying decks right now though you can get lucky against something like big smell mage if you can cheat something out really quickly overall though if you're looking for a deck for big minions this might be one for you to try out you might have a little bit better of a luck with than me but overall it isn't really a deck that I can't easily recommend to you all to try out. But like always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.